Miss California. So, uh, of course, during the Miss Universe pageant, uh, she said something controversial. She said that she believes uh, marriage is a... Uh, she believes in opposite marriage between male and female and that gays should not be given the right to get married. That's right. So Perez Hilton was really, really upset about it. Uh, he wrote in his personal blog that she is a, a bitch and a see you next Tuesday. Wow. And uh, she was on MSNBC today, and she was uh, talking about this situation. She was all over the place. She, she went was. to uh, and talked to Matt Lauer on the Today Show, too. Mm -hmm. Can we go to Matt Lauer first? Uh, first, they do the story as Anne explained, and then they talk to Perez Hilton, and he's absolutely unapologetic about right, it. Right, of course. And says, look, she had it coming. And then now this is her defense. And remember, yesterday, I was a little bit on her side. She's got her beliefs. She's got her beliefs, you know. Uh, not everybody has to agree with us. She started to lose me a little bit here. Yeah. Let's watch. Miss California, Carrie Prejean, good morning to good you. Good morning. Thank so you for he wants me. you to be the perfect Miss USA. He wants you to answer questions in a way that sounds good to all Americans. Is he giving you an impossible task? I, I think he is. You know what, Matt? I was on that stage that night, and I was so excited to be there. I was competing for Miss USA, and I was called into the top ten into the top five and I was standing there and and you know I was ready for my question and and when I heard it from him I knew at that moment after I'd answered the question I knew that I was not going to win because of my answer because you had spoken because from your I heart had spoken from my heart oh, from please. my beliefs and and for my God well okay so let me ask you this so if I were to and I won't ask you but if I were to ask you the very same question right now and say you get a do-over on this how badly do you want to win that title? Would you have answered it differently? No. Oh, right. I wouldn't have answered it differently. Um, I think that the way that I answered it, you know, might have been offensive to people, and I said, and no offense to anybody. I did not want to offend anybody. But I think with that question specifically, uh, it's not about being politically correct. For me, it was being biblically correct. Oh, please. He, he says he hopes this doesn't usher in an era where contestants are subjectively judged on, on religious or moral or political beliefs. And I think it's unfortunate that a lot of pageant girls, uh, you know, they have the pressure. Like Claudia Jordan said, she was one of the judges. She was great. Uh, she said that, she, you know, I should have been more in the middle. I shouldn't have given a specific answer. But that goes against what I stand for. And when I'm asked a specific question, I'm going to give a specific answer. I'm not going to stand in the middle. I'm going to take one side or the other. Kara, you, you came so close. I did. I did. And, uh... and I am, I'm so proud of myself. And I have so many people that are so proud of me. And um, it wasn't what God wanted for my life that night. That's the way you explain it to yeah. yourself? And you wouldn't change a thing? I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't be here right now with you if I were to be Miss USA. So I know that I have a purpose and um, <laughs> please stop, please stop. I don't, I don't take back what I said. I was true to myself How brave. How brave. and I know now that I can go out and, and, and speak to young people about standing up for what you believe in and never compromising anything for anyone or anything, uh, even if it's the crown of Miss USA. No, good I'm, luck to you. Thank you yeah, very much. Thanks, luck. Carrie. We appreciate it. Okay. Uh, now I'm against her. Okay, she lost me entirely. I love how she said biblically correct. And you say what you want to say first. I have a lot to say. Okay, I'm okay with you. First of all, she's going to be such a star in the right-wing speaking circuit. Oh, they're going to love her. She's the next Sarah Palin. Because I stand for what I believe, and I am biblically correct, and I speak for my God and from my heart. And la 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 la. They're gonna eat that up. Oh, give me more, give me more, right? And Matt Lauer, God, always such melodrama on the Today Show. Like everything's like dramatic. Like, oh, you came so close to winning a totally irrelevant title. And how did you feel about like it's as she almost came won the Nobel Prize or something? Right. I mean, she's really hot, and she was almost judged the hottest girl, but instead she was the second hottest girl because she answered that question in a way that didn't please all. Just who cares? Anyway, and then Jeff, he's like Matt Lauer, was like, but you spoke from your heart. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Come on, let it go, let it go. And then finally, from my perspective, uh, she said, "Look, I meant no offense, but you're saying." And I let it go yesterday when that was her original defense. But now you're stretching it too far because 
You're saying, I meant no offense, I just told you that I don't think you two should be allowed to, wait, to live the way you want to. And hey, that's what my God stands for. So I mean no offense, except I'd like to take away your rights. Well, that's offensive to some people. And you've got to at least understand that, recognize that. It would have been different if in the interview she had said, hey, look, I get what they're saying. And I, I know that it's so important to them because it's part of you know how they live their life, etc. But my beliefs are also really important to me. La, la, la. Something that leads me to believe, not the politically correct answer, but do you actually understand the other side? Right. And I got none of that from her. Exactly. I just, look, when she said biblically correct, I immediately, I was turned off from the beginning, but I just completely lost her 100% when she said biblically co correct. Because how much of a hypocrite are you? You want to be biblically correct? Really, the Bible says your body is your temple and you don't use it for profit. Isn't that what she did when she was prancing around in a bikini? Bingo! <laughs> Come on, man. You are not biblically correct at all. And what does biblically correct even mean? That just sounds stupid. Why can't you be, I don't know, intelligent and reasonably correct? Like, have some reason in your mind. You know what I mean? I don't know. I can't no, say No, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, I couldn't agree more. If you wanted to be biblically correct, by the way, is you wouldn't eat shrimp or lobster. If you've eaten, sh eaten shrimp, then you're, you know, not being biblically correct. You wouldn't have clothing of two different, you know, linen or uh, cotton, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I wouldn't go all day long over the things that you'd have to do to be biblically correct. Now, in this case, they're using the Bible to discriminate against gay folks. In the past, they used the Bible to discriminate against black folks. Mm -hmm. And then at the time, remember that they would say, hey, listen, I'm just representing for my God, and my interpretation is that black people should not mix with white people. They, now, it seems unbelievable to us in this day and age, but that is exactly what they said. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that you look back at two, 20 years from now and you go, man, Perez Hilton was totally right. Here was this woman coming out and saying gay people shouldn't have their rights because of I chose the parts of the Bible that focus on hate and ignored all the other parts of the Bible. So the more she defends it, the more I think she's wrong.